All right, I'm back today with the Parasite E video. And in this video, I'm kind of going to go over some bonus points and the best way to get them. So this is pre-EX game. So this is before Chrysler building, okay? This is the best place by far to get bonus points in the main story game. And I am on day five. So once you get to the museum, actually, you don't even have to wait till you get to the museum, but probably should because the extra levels really help keep you alive. I don't know how the damage formula in this game is exactly figured out, but it seems to me if you are a lower level than the enemies you are fighting, they just do obscenely high amounts of damage to you. It seems like the level is in some cases more important than your than your base stats from your armor, but that's a separate, uh, separate discussion because I just don't know the damage formula. What I do know, though, is that I've spent this entire time all of level 34 grinding here at the warehouse and I'm expecting a massive bonus point pull so let's see what we get when I get into the next fight yeah I have a liberate ready so I will definitely level up no matter what so let's see what happens in the next fight and then I can kinda go over well depending on the fight I'll go over exactly what what's going on and why this is the best way to get bonus points. But I have to get into a fight first. Sometimes getting into a fight it takes quite a while. So every time you go into the room you have a 10% chance of an encounter. And if you had battled there previously then the next time you go in it will be 50% to encounter. So refights are actually really nice. If you get them looped, it's pretty good. If you can get you can get into a good RNG loop, but at least it feels like a loop anyway. And sometimes you get really bad RNG where you're just at this for like ten minutes. Now let's see if I get it. I want the rat. I want there to be a rat here. There is. Okay, so this fight right here. If every enemy is killed without being hit, it is worth 104 bonus points. 32 from the spiders, 40 for the rat. Now, if you do this fight and you do get hit a few times, every time you get hit, the spiders, you take 9 bonus points away. But every time you get hit by the rat, you take 5 bonus points away. So actually, the best thing to do here is to kill the rat, both efficiently and without getting hit, because... If you do get hit, it's less its less important because the rat gives tons of bonus. Even if you get hit, you still can get a good bonus here. I'm using a club only challenge, so kinda kinda sucks because the club is terrible. But if you're using a gun here, you're going to destroy this. 102,000 experience to level up, my goodness. I might spend another level here in, the, in here. It's not terrible. Let's see what I get for bonus and I'm not going to skip it because I'm curious how long this will take. To get all of my bonus points. I'm I'm hoping for somewhere around 10 to 12k. And it looks like it's gonna take a while. The port the important thing here is every time you get this encounter and you clear it without getting hit, you are getting one point to any of your stats. So if you ever attempt a club only challenge or or if you just want to power up your weapons before EX mode, this is how you do it. You come here and you grind. And I can make a better video showcasing how to do this. The best way is to use a submachine gun. If you have a submachine gun and you've made the range high enough, you're, you're going to crush this. You, you add on burst, you add on first attack. And even with random attack all with 1.5 times fire rate, or random attack, it's random attack, not attack all. Random attack with 1.5 times fire rate, and you have a fire rate of two, you're gonna slaughter this with a little bit of attack investment. Uh, I recommend having just enough attack to probably two shot most enemies. That's gonna give you, it's gonna go much faster. But as you can see, I'm already 2,500 bonus points in. Now, this is massive, massive here. This level up is huge. It's actually insane. I also got a big jump on HP again, which means it's probably also a massive jump on damage and defense. 
because it seems whenever I get those jumps, those two are correlated. Again, I don't know the damage formula or how defense works. So, I mean, I'll kind of I'll kind of dabble in that and find out, see if I can figure anything out. But my last level up, for 22,000 experience, I got 4,800 bonus points. So, I did 3.5 times the experience. So, theoretically, it should be closer to 15k, but I'm... Count. I'm figuring and getting hit a whole bunch, so I'm, that's why I'm thinking more around 10 to 12k. But that's still huge. It's an insane amount of bonus points. It, it's probably almost enough to crank my attack up so high I, I one-shot these enemies here. If I can do that, that would make this go significantly faster because it's so slow when you don't one-shot these things. Now, when we get to the Chrysler building in EX mode, there is two better fights actually not just squirrels squirrels are the number one fight for bonus points there actually is a second fight people probably don't talk about but i kind of want to cover that one because that's the more interesting one in my opinion uh, especially early on because you can do the chrysler building right away as soon as you get past day one so once you unlock the chrysler building in fact even though it is significantly harder than the main game. If your stats were high enough from your previous playthrough, you're better off doing it. I'll showcase that uh, when I get there. But basically, there is an enemy in the first 10, between the first one floor to 20th floor span, that it gives you 45 bonus points when you kill it, which is massive, and it comes with multiple enemies. That bonus is still going. Still going strong. We're like three minutes into this thing just cranking up already. Wow. Still going. Now we're at 7k. It's my dog scratching herself in the background, if you can hear that. Most likely can. Pass 8k for sure. The one thing I'm curious about, because in the strategy guide uh, that Brady Games made for this game, they said you can actually end a fight with zero bonus points, as in you can get no bonus points if you get hit enough. I actually don't think that's the case. I do actually think there's a minimum that the fight has to give you. So I think the, the strategy guide is actually wrong, because if that was the case, you would on a lot of level ups, you probably get zero bonus. That's just nothing. I've never seen that happen. I've never seen zero bonus points. But I'll experiment with that later. So that'll be another video. Because I'm going to deliberately get hit a bunch at the start of the game. And we'll see how that goes. Because I think if you get hit enough here, you're still going to get bonus. Even though three hits and you should not get a bonus anymore. So I think that's just not true. Here we go, 9,500, let's go 10K. Can we get 10K? 9,800, making a video. 99 and 10,000, and counting. You just got the level up. Ten, yep, 10,001, 10,002, I, I, I think it's somewhere between 10 and 12K. Potentially 15k, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, this thing has been... I've been letting it just go on its own. It's like four minutes of just watching that bonus points tick up. Yeah, it got another huge jump in HP, which, like I said, probably means another huge jump in damage. So... We'll see. And we're at 11. A pattern, it was a huge That's, there is, there's a pattern. That I am well aware of. Actually, you can map out. Uh, kinda. It's almost every five levels, yeah. Earlier in the game, it's a little bit more, more constant than that. Oh, there it is, see, almost 12K, just like I thought. 
That's really good. Yep, so hit and save and then using them up or just dump them all. And... Well, I'm going to save before I dump them all, but I'm curious as to how much damage I do now. So I want to get into another fight. Uh, control. Yep, get it control. Also curious to see how much damage I take, because I think I'm also going to have a huge decrease in damage as well. Because it seems like with those big jumps, you get a huge increase in damage and a huge decrease in the damage you take. Probably could. I think there are actually dogs that, I mean, there's dogs that paint, so I'm sure there's dogs that can play drums, just not very well. well this tail wags in a very rhythmic manner, so you think that, well. Yeah, it'd probably work. Yeah, sometimes you get unlucky with encounters, though. Probably gonna take a while. Come on, get there. We go. All right. Finally. And now this time I'm gonna get hit on purpose. Let's see. So this was doing 14 before. Yeah, zero now, and eight. So yeah, massive decrease in the damage I take from that level of alone. Damage. They just have to stand still. And yeah, 16 point increase in damage just from leveling up. That's a big increase. Yeah. That was a good dodge. Yeah, I don't need any more points in defense at this point. These spiders have 242 HP, so unfortunately they're not two shots yet without a crit. They will be once I spend all that bonus. If not a one shot, even. Okay, you'd be so close. What HP do the rats have? 215. The rats will definitely be a one shot at that point. Guaranteed. Yeah, I need 102,000 experience to level up now. So you'd probably get 20,000 bonus with the next level. Pretty close. But anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed.